Yo, hey YouTube, it's your boy Panic Tanner Tyler here. I mean, Panic plays with Tyler here. Sorry. But, yeah, today, as you guys can tell, this is some tips to grow on YouTube. And, yeah, I know I'm not really that big, but I do have, I know I'm really not big at all. I like 30 subs, almost. But, yeah, I do know a lot of tricks. I just have to, not tricks, but, like, I do know what it takes to become a big YouTuber. I just really have to put more effort in with school and just, I've been busy during the summer. We have not put enough effort that I wanted to. But for the rest of the summer, I'm daily uploading, by the way. But, yeah, the first thing, as I said, is you're going to want to upload as often as possible. And that's really important because if someone, if you only upload like once a week, once a month, say, that's going to make you lose a lot of subs that you potentially could buy. But... Yeah, that's really it though, you can, you're not grow as much because that. The next one is, you don't want to, um, you don't want to try to collaborate with other YouTubers. Like, yeah, I know if there's no way I'll be able to collaborate with someone as big, at, if there's almost no way you'll be able to collaborate with someone really big like Rain for them but I try to get to meet some other youtubers if you know one that really has a chill and same thing as you they're in the cops they do quality black ops 2 sniping you do call you play quality black ops 2 for sniping then like try to make some montages with them or just try to make some fun videos because then Chances are that if the video's really good and you do good in it, since it's a skit and your acting is really good, some people be like, wow, some people will be like, wow, that guy's a pretty good actor. I'm gonna go check out his YouTube channel. And the same thing will happen with the other YouTubers. So you both will be growing a little bit. You, and that's just a good experience. If the YouTuber is bigger than you, then like, they could help you like with other stuff. Just don't be afraid to ask other YouTubers. Like, I I'm willing to join collaborative videos with anyone that wants to. Like, most people, if you ask me if I can do, if I will collaborate with you in a video, I'll say sure, no problem. What are we gonna do? But, like, of course, there's going to be times I'm just not going to wanna, uh, do a video with someone, and just, then I'll still do it later. But, yeah, just try to work with other YouTubers, and just have fun always. Don't think that YouTube should not be taken as a career. What? No, I'm here for it. You should not start YouTube just to have it be a career. You should do it for fun. And just like, if you're not having fun, your fans, or your viewers will make, will know that. Because you, unless you're a really good actor or you can like fake having fun, then I really suggest that. And I don't really know anyone that does. But yeah, you want to you want to upload stuff that's entertaining. Even if that's not what most people are going for, you can do two things completely different. To like me, I'm I'm gonna start playing stuff that is completely different than what I'm used to. I'm gonna be uploading like probably some Minecraft videos and zombies videos. I've been uploading a lot of zombies videos recently, and true, that's different from what I'm used to doing. Not that much, but if you enjoy it, it's a show, and you're just going to work more harder on a YouTube video, 
that you enjoy. Another thing is, just like, some people wait because they don't have like the best equipment. You had to, I'm not to lie here, I started recording. When I first started recording, you guys can go back to some, I deleted all my old videos like that, I think. But I was like taking my phone, an iPhone 4, having my friend, one of my friends hold it, and then me and my friends would just keep switching out, playing private match, or playing online split screen. Like, that was horrible quality. Then I started getting like a table, then I started using a table and stuff. And then I start progressing my way up to get an Elgato. Now I use an Elgato for all my videos and the quality is good, true, but I would not have gotten like my first few ten subs if it was not for the regular. Another thing is don't always do the same thing. Always do the same video, like fine, it's okay if you do like Thursdays or throwback Thursdays and stuff like that. But don't like Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, upload the same video because that's one thing I did. I learned that from the hard way. I was uploading dumb videos like 1v1, 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 1v1 with the same person, same maps, everything. I was making like five videos a day, true. But then I would like upload them too much and I would just be like, okay, what can I do? Oh! make another video. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. But the videos were actually horrible, completely bad trash. And I ended up losing some subs. And that's just not how you want to really do it. You want to try to come up with unique ideas or ideas that some people like to do. Like to see, like if, perfect example, how some people do Chuck shots, of course. But that's a fun idea. Well, it's, I think that's a fun idea because I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, I have to meet everyone. Yeah. But a lot of people seem to like that. And if you enjoyed working for that, then do it. It's a fun video for you. Have fun. That's, in all in all, that's what YouTube is for. Having fun. True. If you get big enough, you can get paid from it. But money is really not everything. Like, for the bigger you, for YouTubers, you really don't want to just go in it for the money. You'll go in it because you enjoy it, or just because you want to do it. But, yeah, upload good content, upload as often as you possibly can. Try to collaborate with other YouTubers. What else is there? Oh uh, yeah, quality doesn't matter. Like, just don't wait. Don't start a YouTube video. I'll put two videos and then wait a year to till you get like an Elgato or however long this can take you to upload more. Because that could just run a year of videos you could make and you could have gotten, say, an extra 100, 200, 300 subs. But, yeah, just start whatever you have, and just work hard, work consi consistently, to, like, upload videos every day that you can, and, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Oh, yeah, this is one mistake that I did. Sometimes you want to really, if you have a sponsorship, you really do want to advertise it. Like, I know a lot of people do. I didn't make this mistake, but like, sponsorships are really not everything. Like, true, it's cool, you have a discount to get off some stuff. But that, there was a time where I like eight sponsorships and I was just going for sponsor after sponsorship. And just don't. Do that. I don't recommend doing that. Like, if you really want sponsorships, go for it. Fine. But I recommend doing that. Like, you don't need eight or nine sponsorships. That's just... I think that's all too much. 
but it really depends and you have and for sponsorships it's not where you they do all the work you have to put in a lot of work to you should, they help you grow you help them grow it's definitely as a sound it's a partnership and yeah just try to make if, oh yeah and depending on what you're doing like a lot of youtubers are in like funny the commentators like who's one like some prank like some people that do pranks and all that and skits the goal of that is to try to make people laugh or just try to brighten up some day and that's really what you want to try to do also if you're into that but like for just grind it out if you're in uh making some fun videos like how fellows do it where they get on the lobby and then they just have fun then do that do whatever you want to do if you want to upload black ops 2 then go ahead upload black ops 2 if you want to upload some mw2 content go ahead it's your youtube channel and really don't doesn't matter if that's one thing you have to just upload other content because people don't want to just see like stupid not stupid videos but like the same videos over and over and over and over again yeah and when you're not like you don't have like a better equipment okay you know that I know a lot of people are not to be able to get uh, recording devices. I just say oh god because that's the one I have. And that's the only one I really know. But like if you don't have them, don't be afraid to take like five, six cuts to get perfect. Or as best as it can be. Cause as I feel it's quality over quantity. Yeah, I'd rather see like one amazing video that you put all you got into it. The quality doesn't really have to. Quality is understandable if you don't have that good one because not everyone can afford that good one. Like good Elgato or something like that. It took like a year to get an Elgato. But yeah, if you just record what you want to record and put 100% effort into it, it doesn't matter about. Quality does matter, but it's not like the most important thing. So I'm going to show something that does not like lag every second where you can't even see a screen. It's okay, really. But like, I'd rather see, honestly, if I was sub to someone, I'd rather see an upload every day that they put, no, I'd rather see like really good quality uploads every two days than see someone upload a horrible video every day. I know a lot of people feel the same way. So yeah, just really try your best, have fun, and give all you got. Oh yeah, and there are many people that hate you and hate what you're doing and say that you'll never make it and you'll never go far. But honestly, just don't worry about those people. I've had many of people say that to me in comment sections and DMs on Skype or even real life people they're just trying to bring you down most likely it's because they're jealous or just because they want it but like if someone is saying dude you've been doing this for like 10 years just you may want to give up then that's not trying to bring you down that's trying to give you advice but like so it says like you suck you'll never make it far you're the worst youtuber ever you should just quit Quite, right, they're most likely trying to bring you down just don't let those kind of people get to you I've had people like that get to me and seriously just the wait worrying about them and worrying about what they're saying just Ignore it, really, and but don't like go out 
looking for haters, like, like uh, you're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid to everyone they see, and yeah, I do not have to say over 15 minutes. I just really want to try to get a couple points across. But yeah, this video's not over yet. So, yeah, also, like, if you have friends that can help you, that's like the best thing, because friends just make videos so much better. Like, it makes it so much more enjoyable if you're up with friends and all that. So, like, don't be afraid to ask YouTubers or people you know to help you with videos. So yeah guys, this looks like this has been the video. So leave a like if you enjoyed, sub if you're new. And peace out YouTube. It's been